Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today just about to defend a base attack that finally triggered for some mysterious reason as I was just about prepping to go grab some POI to trigger it with. <laughs> and so let's take a look what's going on here. Um, so we're still at difficulty zero, so that doesn't seem to matter. And the overall probability, same same amount. So I think it was just eventually, once it checks its percentage enough times, it actually will trigger. And this time it said, oh, here it comes. So let's see what happens. Let's get our other weapons happening here. Let's get our... Uh... Come on, why isn't stuff shooting? What's going on? Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Oh yeah. That is awfully loud. Yeah, it said we successfully defended. Nice. Shot it down and everything. Okay, so, um, hmm, okay, well, our base is definitely capable of handling a small attack. Yay! I didn't really have to do anything. Well, let's go out there and check out to see what, what we got. Good job. Good job. Here, let's switch up weapons here. Zoom in. Cool. Talon Terrio territory. Oh, is that a dude there? Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. So, yeah, I think they're... <laughs> no, that's a corn dog. It's just a freaking corn dog. Uh, oh, there was a dude. There's another dead dude there. Dead dude, dead dude. Oh! Caught him! Yeah! From, like, major range. Okay. I guess that's what the guns were all freaking out about. Nice. That should be all of them, then. So, okay, they landed a billion freaking miles away. I don't know what they were expecting. Send... <laughs> oh, very cool. Look at that. It's got, like, a... A cargo bay and everything. Ooh, nice loot on it, too. Look at that. A laser pistol. Heavy weapon upgrade. Some oxygen. We'll just take a quick glance as we Alt-F loot them. Very nice. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. The three of them. I think we had one despawn already. Yeah. Very cool looking uh, troop transport. Level three. Look at the guns on the front. Neat. <laughs> okay. Yay. We defended a base attack, so they sent one troop transport with dudes as as a level zero base attack. Okay. So I guess that's the base base amount what you need is one troop transport with dudes because 
without the dudes, they can't take over your base, right? So, I get it. I get it. That's the lowest level base attack now. You don't get drones until later on, I guess. So, you got to keep building up a base and keep getting it, getting them more and more choked at you, I guess. <laughs> And, and until the difficulty gets higher and higher, I would assume. So what are we at now at difficulty? It, it was... It's still zero. And we're now reset to two hours. Nice. Okay. Well, um... It's going to take for freaking ever... And I wasn't really planning on using the the temperate planet as my base for Alpha 10, in a sense, my starting location. I wanted to just build it up to trigger a base attack, and we finally did. Oh my god, that took for freaking ever to do. You, you, you can really get a huge base going. And apparently it's the luck of the draw. People have had, you know, 18% plus trigger so yeah it's uh it, it, it all depends on really the the luck of the draw and i guess i got lucky enough so that it never triggered till just just now um and by now i had like you know they had no chance one freaking troop transport i mean it's lucky that it even got to unload its dudes, really. Well, um, what should I do for the rest of the episode? I guess we can keep seeing how long it takes for the next attack to trigger. And I'll keep building on the base. I don't know what else to do next. I didn't really want to spend much time building this base and I've already spent a lot of time building the base <laughs> so eh, I really want to start again on the air planet to tell you the truth I really want to just start again so you know we successfully did that I think what I'll do now is I'll go uh, I'm going to go grab a bunch of I'm going to make it a bunch of cores and we're just going to fly around and throw cores into into POIs that don't have cores and see if that like triggers attacks all over the place and and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll put it, we'll set it, everything to private and we'll see if it happens. So this is set on private. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I will come get you when I place start placing the cores. We'll get these made right now I don't know how many do you think we need to make let's make 10 and then I'll fuel up the the uh, roundabout here and uh, well she's got pretty good fuel already so we should be okay and I just I just put a bunch of ammo in her okay So, I think what I want to do is mark out my map. Um, submerged tank. Yeah. And I don't know what, what happens inside Talon territory too, right? So, that's cool. We can check that. Oh, yeah, and all the Titans. All the Titans. Definitely put cores in the Titans. Yeah. Absolutely. Destroyed mining towers. They're pretty big, aren't they? Let's core them to derelict base. There's another one. Awesome. Submerged tank, derelict base. They're they're really big actually. The crash capital vessel, that might be worth triggering too. That's all really close by, eh? So that's quite a few. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Unknown helix. I could pop those. Well, not that one. That one would be a little bit harder. I mean, I can do the abandoned factory. I've done it a few times. And if you look in my past catalog of videos, um, 
look at previous Iron Man ones. I've I've had to do it. Okay. Uh, oh, it's, can't get up to that one. I didn't make an SV. Alien Tower, abandoned mine, crash capital vessel. Sure. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to head out and start coring these <laughs> freaking POIs. So we'll start here and we'll make our way around and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't think that the Talon are not going to like me coring their base. So that's or the, the putting a base in their territory because I'm not friendly with them yet, but I don't care. Okay. This should be fun. Uh, come on, we still got a bunch to go. Okay, I'll come grab you guys. Okay, we are ready with eight cores on us. We have a little bit of food, and well, we actually got quite a bit of food in our uh, in our survival constructor because I I always leave a bunch of energy bars in there or protein bars. So we'll head over to this. Waypoint first, it's the closest one. In Polaris territory. Now it'll be interesting to see what happens if If the Xerox come and take it over, if there'll be like a challenge for territory inside the uh, Polaris zone here. Wow, it's got a lot of nice goodies on it, doesn't it? Look at all that gear. Wow. Put a core in there and, and loot it really fast, right? But we're not going to loot it. We're just going to put the core in and leave it. So I want to put the core inside it somewhere where it's going to huh yeah we'll put it in there somewhere so let's let's get on top of whoop straight <laughs> good driving okay so we'll just level out and grab the cores. Okay. Uh, it's, is it nighttime? What time is it? I think it was just about day, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, isn't the sun. Now I can't remember. Is that the west there? I don't problem is is you can't tell the compass doesn't move when you spin the drone <laughs> okay uh, let's do this so we're gonna put this in here boom now that should be a real 20 whoa something spawned not necessarily um, what we wanted though <laughs> heard a some nasty oh there he is yep ah whatever come for a swim if you want yeah didn't think so didn't think so <laughs> free XP and rep and meat if I guess I wanted to go get it Yay, level 12. Well, that doesn't seem to have triggered it right off the bat. Let's, um, let's see if we can trigger it. Anyone? Anyone? Okay, we'll head over to this one. That wasn't big enough apparently 
I mean, obviously, if I went and uh, did something in one of the Xerox zones, which we may do. Okay, Talon territory. They're going to get pissed if I do this, but at least I think they will because I'm not friendly with them. I haven't read the uh, their rep chart. We'll do that real quick before we put the core in. But I'm, I think I'm going to lose rep if I do it. Although I'm, uh, I'm not sure about placing a core. Because I'm not actually placing a starter. Okay, so let's see what happens. this in somewhere down here oh yeah we still got a whole bunch of stuff we could loot put that in and take a look here 26 percent location is increased base size oh it's not that big is it okay well whatever whatever I'm, I don't really care about the loot because we're not uh, continuing on after this. We're just putting the cores in and trying to get <laughs> base attacks against these POIs, basically. As they stand, what their percentage is. They're all in about the 25% mark with, uh, with unfriendly rep. Or at least almost hostile rep, I guess, with Xerox. So it looks like this derelict base is next. Oh, we just hit the... Uh... The border. The old green wall. Okay, we're almost there. They're like base. Now this thing's huge. There's a lot of blocks in this. I'm feeling really confident when we when we put a core in this thing, we're gonna trigger an attack. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's do this. We get in down here. Yeah, nice. Go in down deep into here. Yeah, that looks good. Nice. Okay. So. Let's see what happens. Actually, let's just take a look at the. Uh, what are we at? 25%. Okay. Base size. Location. Don't care. So this one. Is about the same as home base. It's class five though. Wow. If I powered it up, it would probably uh, trigger it. But it may just trigger it because of uh, what did it say the difficulty was? It's still zero. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So let's keep going here we've got uh, destroyed mining towers past the abandoned factory we'll just get uh, get around the sentry guns of the factory oh there's uh, there's something coming in there what is that it's just sitting there whatever it is it's a red dot Let's switch to our guns. Here, let's... Oh, it's going away. It's going away. Why is it going away? Come back. Oh, it's guarding that. 
deposit, the silicon deposit. Okay. Here, let's uh, let's draw it out into the open. I think it's sauce. Yeah. Here he comes. Oh, there we go. Hostile. That'll that'll help trigger the attacks more, I think. Uh, don't really need to loot them, but uh, you know what? Who cares? I'm not even gonna bother. Let's just keep going. I don't have time to loot. Don't have time. Okay. Oh, another red dot. Let's let's deal with it. It's coming straight at us. Where is it? There he is. Okay. So he would have been just protecting one of these POIs or or uh, deposits. I mean, this place is just thick with them. Okay, so let's throw... I don't think this is going to trigger anything, to tell you the truth. That's fine, we've got... I made, whoops, I made one for it. So, I don't really care. <laughs> We're just trying to see what, what will trigger and what won't. Good enough. Let's take a look really quick at... Ooh, 28%. It's size class three, so it might trigger it. It may trigger it. 28%, that was, uh, that was a pretty high percent. Okay, so on to the next. On to the next, we have Crash Titans. Okay. So Crash Titan front. Now this has a really good chance of triggering because this thing's massive. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, where can I get in? Come on, where can I get in? Oh, maybe through the back? Ooh, wow, this thing is really can I hide it under there? No. Oh, come on, really? You know what? Here, we'll uh, we'll pop out one of these really quick. There, keep my radar up. Okay, and then there we go. Put it down here somewhere. Good. And then what does this look like in the way of... This is a 28% and it is only class 3. Okay. So that's fine. Let's keep moving. So we've got the other Titans. They're about the same distance so we'll just go do them now they are definitely bigger so this uh, the mid one is a little bit bigger than the front I think maybe not maybe not eh, maybe not and eh, maybe not well I know the back one is massive so hopefully the Mac the back one should trigger it so let's Plant this and see if we can trigger it. Can we get down in here, maybe? Yeah, excellent. Yeah, let's just go like that. And then, so that's going to be a 28 percenter, too. Attack difficulty zero, class four. So it is a little bigger. Okay, that's what I thought. Because a lot of it's buried, right? So 
Let's go over to the back. Oh, and there's... It's got reinforcements. Take care of those. Okay. I mean, yes, I can drive around with my drills retracted. You know what? Maybe I will. <laughs> Just because... I can just do that just because it gives him a little bit better armor and I don't need him out right now so okay now this should definitely trigger it let's um let's go over here no I never took any of the loot from here did I I never looted anything can I get up there come on yeah nice yeah, I looted everything. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've been here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've done this so many times I can't remember. It's just, it's just a blur. Okay. Well, let's core it. This should trigger it. I want to put the core. Um, interesting. Should I put it, uh, well, I guess I could put it like there or something. That's fine. Okay. Oops. Come on. No. Oops. It's not on the statistics. That's why. And 29%. Nice. Attack difficulty zero. That is a class six. So this PI is class six. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> huh? Let's go to get this crash capital vessel. I, unless it's one of those huge, the really huge black one, I don't think it's gonna trigger it either. If the, if the um, Titan rear didn't, then you can see it's it it. It's not instant, obviously. You know what? I could go back and wait for a cycle. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we'll get everything green now. Like I say, that'll be hilarious if... Uh, if Xerox go and take them over and claim zones away from the Talon and Polaris because of that. Okay. Now, are we going to die going over there? No. Always good to check. Always good to check. Doesn't take long to get there. We'll just we'll just travel in comfort. You know, try not to hit one of these little twigs because they are impervious. Oh, they're loud. Those little twigs are impervious to to a fifty ton. HV slamming into it. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Heck, a uh, capital vessel cannot break them. Okay, what kind of what kind of capital vessel are you? Uh, uh, it looks just like the one that that wreckage, right? The other one. Yeah, I think it's identical to that other one that we took over that has a whole bunch of goodies in it. Let's see. We've got this one last core here. Yeah, it's it's identical. 
So, I mean, realistically, yeah, it's not like they're going to be able to take this thing over, but. <laughs> oh, well. That was fun going and core and everything that <laughs> we could. Uh, so I guess what we can do now is we'll just do a quick cycle back to them all. And if I run into one that has a base attack going on, I'll grab you. Uh, if not, then I'll meet you back at base and we'll call it an episode. So see you in a bit. Okay, we are back. Uh, we're back at the base down in my uh, medical command um, living quarters. And you know what? It The sun just went down. We're still have an attack difficulty of zero, so we'd only get one troop transport at this time if we do get attacked, which our percent went up because our reputation... Um, for killing those guys went to un or went to hostile. Yeah, we're at hostile. So hostile. Um, I can prey, attacking predator. So that all gives you. Oh, prey also in there. Gives you okay. Prey and predators. <clears throat> Um, so stay outside every five minutes plus 25 if reputation is hostile so that'll slowly get better over time and then become unfriendly and they're less likely to attack you then but they still this percentage down here um, so it's a random check every whatever it is. I think it's 12 game hours. So it should have just checked again. And I don't see any attack signal. So, hmm. Okay. At this point, you know, I, I don't think this base is going to have an issue with one troop transport at a time coming at it. Uh, even, even if they beef that up a bit, it's just... It's a joke, and I have it on set on hard, so um, it's way easier than before, I guess. If you have a, if you're on an easy starting planet, uh, so I guess what we're gonna try now is we're gonna do an arid start, and w well, you know what? Let's let's do one quick. We're going to sleep for the night and see if that triggers a base attack. Look at the map to see if anything spawns near us. No? Now, does this... Oh! It's now tagged to be attacked by zero. So... Check my last check was 19 game hours ago. Uh, tag to be attacked. So there's two of the POIs. Now, I saw that before, and I went racing around all the POIs, and nothing. Nothing. So I could look, to, I could look up their IDs to see which one that is and go out to those, I guess. But eh, at this point... I don't want to spend too much more time on this temperate planet. Let's get a arid start going. So next episode is going to be the start of season two uh, with an arid start. And we're going to build up that base. I think I want to go for the top of a mountain and just have a little bunker access at the top with like with a long shaft going all the way freaking down to a big cave opening near the bottom for vehicles and and main access, I guess. Um, yeah, so I think that's what I want to do. I want to make a mountain, uh, a mountain cave base, so to speak. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this series. 
next series, like I say, is going to be uh, a new start on an arid planet, and we're going to build up that base quite large, I think. And we're going to attempt, we're, we're going to try and get more than difficulty zero attacks going on. Um, with just, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out the design of it then. But uh, until then, guys, you have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.